Um, uh, this uh, walkthrough video is a discussion or of the barrel system. So please, uh, let's try to adjust our view. So this is the module. Where you can see the number of employees that are on leave, um, the amount that you have to pay for the payroll, the employees that are clocked in, um, the date uh, that you have to pay for the salaries for January, for example, and employees that are absent. So uh, this monitoring is being controlled um, by a biometric system wherein um, all the employees have to do is to trigger in their clock in and clock out. Okay, because before you use this system, uh, you just have to fill up one time only the necessary requirements for the documents, all of the details about each employees, um, um, the government forms, and the rest. After that one time encoding, the next procedures will only be the clock in the, and the clock out and then the system will do the rest okay so let's go first to the number one prerequisite let's go to the to this icon the company setup this is where you encode the business name the trade name okay the organization type and all of the requirements in setting up your business or company settings uh, business category the rdo hdmf the tin number sss bill health because this these are required or mandatory rules of the Department of Labor and Employment. So you can customize your logo. Okay, that's for the company settings. Let's go to the location or offices. You can add location or office, signatories, um, name of the signatory, um, his authentication or managerial. Uh, profile okay. so bank account you can add bank account organizational structures you have the departments so you can add departments position you can add positions to your company you have the ranks so notice that for each module this is the maneuvering page on the left whenever you click here it projects um, the content here on the right side so the ranks you can see here the employee type the projects okay the type of leaves leave type so it has the automatic uh, ruling sick leave maternity study leave or vacation leave or you can always add okay you can set if it is a uh, uh, subject to leave credits payable or yes and then require documents for example sick leave they have to attach their medical certificate so for the pay slip you have the wizard for that the other income you have allowances types for example transportation or meal or you can always add is it taxable yes or no okay so the bonus types also has that what are those the bonus leave the mid-year the 13th month of course you can always add amount is it fixed or salary based okay so commission types you can add commissioning is it taxable you can always set the minimis uh, for example rice allowance medical dependence medical allowance clothing allowance and laundry allowance and again you can always add loan types you have the different loan types uh, company loan salary loan sss and others for the contributions you have the semi-monthly for the regular okay um, deductions you have the call at the cash advance the union use or the SSS daily hour rates can also be set here okay so um, every uh, holiday rates this system is following a very strict format when it comes to ruling of the Department of Labor and Employment here in the Philippine government so it is a standard okay for the special holidays here are the rates so the user or the HR or whomever officer that is in charge of the payroll is always guided 
to be by the system to be accurate annualization and then the expenses report so as soon as the company setup is done now we will now go to the setup of employees so this is it for now for this video and then we will discuss the next procedure on the second video